Hello, welcome to the Craft Beer Channel. My name's Jim and today I'm going to be cooking beef beer stew with beer dumplings. Oh yeah. Right, so first of all, we need a beer. I am going to use this classic from the Suffolk coast, our friends at Adnams. It's a good, strong, sort of best. I call it Grandad's Ruin, simply because old geezers go to the pub and have a pint of this and then fall asleep in front of the TV for the rest of their Sunday afternoon. Such a lovely beer, really lovely and malty. There's a little bit of aromatic there, but it's more about the intensity of the toast. It's a good beer. It's a dark beer, which means it's perfect for cooking a good dark stew. You could use any stout, you could use any porter. So I've got a pan with vegetable oil, got it really hot. I'm gonna sear the beef first. This is shin of beef. So in with this, because we want this to be a nice thick stew, we're gonna go in with some plain flour. Um, don't be shy with it. Okay, this has been sizzling away for about four minutes. You're starting to get a lovely little caramelized bit of brown around the edges of your meat. Take the meat off the heat now. It's giving off a lovely smell. Okay, all this flavor in the bottom of the pan, that's gonna be released into the sauce as soon as you add the beer. Let's get these. Uh, these are actually shallots, um, which give a really big onion punch. Uh, mix these round a little bit just so they start get taken on a bit of the colour. Don't worry about the crispy. These are Chantenay carrots, so they're small, you don't need to peel or prep them, dead easy. This will feed about four people, so um, be generous. Let them sit. Let's get the carrots in. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more flour for the veggies, about that much just to give it a coating, maybe a bit more. Then, back in with the beef. Oh yeah, look at that. Juices. Don't waste any of them. Worcester sauce. Now, don't be pathetic with the Worcester sauce. Be big, be strong, take the top off. Actually, just open the lid. And just go in with probably about three tablespoons, four tablespoons, that much in a cup. It adds such an amazing depth. Don't be scared, just keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. This will astound and astonish your friends. That's probably enough. Beer. In with the broadside. It's already picking up. All of those lovely, crispy flavors from the bottom of the pan. Look at that. Now you want to cook off the alcohol on the hob top. This won't need, this won't take two whole bottles, I don't think, but let's just cover. Then we're going with beef stock. If you can get the jelly ones, great. If you've got fresh, ooh, get you, use that. And chopped tomatoes, finally. This gives a lovely color. Little, little bit of sweetness as well to what's going on in here. Chuck them in. And then finally, a bit of parsley. Just break it up, chuck it in. Stalks and all. Give it a mix round. Make sure that everyone gets to know each other. Wait for that to come up to the boil till the 6.3% of the broadside is uh, has just left the building. Okay, that's bubbling away nicely. The beer's given that a lovely deep flavor with the tomato as well, I love that. Um, so I've got the oven set at 220. Just for the first 20 minutes, you can turn it down to about 200. I reckon that's about gas mark eight down to about gas mark six and a half, seven. So I'm gonna put this in the hot oven. It's gonna take three hours. In two and a half hours, we'll put the mushrooms in, make the beer dumplings, Last 20 minutes with those in the oven. Bingo! Okay, let's get it in. Okay. All right, yo. I'm going for a beer. Bye. Hey. Okay. I'm not going to spoil what this looks like just yet, so I will just do it from here, over here. Oh. 
That looks so good. Okay, these will really shrink down after 20 minutes, so you won't run out of space for the dumplings. Let's get them in mixed up. Okay, back in for another 10 minutes, and then we'll take it out and we'll get the dumplings in. Let's get on with these beer dumplings. Oh, how good does that sound? Uh, for this, I'm going to use Big Job, one of Cornwall's finest. What you need for the beer dumplings, beef suet, um, and twice as much in weight, self-raising flour, and a pinch of salt. Wooden spoon. Big job. And just add it until you've got really sticky batter. I reckon that's about right. Okay, let's go and get the stew. <laughs> Mix around. That is just beautiful. Okay, and just with the spoon, just dollop in. Dollop away. I'd say, yeah. For these will expand in there. Okay, we're back in for 20 minutes. 20, 25 minutes, and they will have puffed up and we'll be looking. Gorgeous. Okay, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. Okay, are you ready for this? Oh. oh yeah, look at that. That is, that's gorgeous. Okay, right, let's serve up, let's get some of that. You're still getting the depth of the of the beer in there. Somewhere in there is lurking this gorgeous, gorgeous, traditional broadside from Suffolk. Uh, Lukey baby, do you want to come and try this? This is Luke Knight, he did our homebrew with us. Try that, mate. It smells absolutely oh, delightful. How's that? The beef. Shin of beef, you see. It's not expensive. Is it? Is it become tender? Just dissolved. It's amazing. Lovely, perfect. The big, the hops in the um, dumplings. Does it work? Mm. Great. I'm going in now. Really, really come through. Excellent. There's a winter warmer. Enjoy.